first we um, focus on reducing spending to match anticipated revenues. It, it's no surprise that this um, supplemental budget does not have a tax increase in it. We have protected priority um, services in K-12 education, vets, core state public safety. And then the governor, as he outlined to you last Thursday in the state of the state, um, has new tax incentives for jobs creation. The deficit was $1.2 billion. Um, we're currently seven months into the biennium. That means we have 17 months left. Um, the November forecast um, was primarily down due to lower than expected revenues, um, primarily the income tax um, related to um, wages. And the remaining gap is 6% um, of the budget that is remaining. How much one-time money is in the bill, in the cuts? How much is one-time? Have you calculated how much is one-time? Sounds like uh, if you got 700 million that carries forward, it sounds like about uh, 500 million is one time. Are you unable, Commissioner, to come up with permanent cuts of 1.2 billion? Well, Mr. Chairman, we came up with um, 700 um, of a million of um, cuts that carry forward, and the I'm asking you, were you unable to come up with 1.2 billion? Well, we came up, we took our tails down from 5.4 to 2.4. Commissioner, was this a hard question? Were you unable to come up with 1.2 billion in permanent cuts? We came up with the budget that you have before you. Did you choose not to come up with 1.2 billion in permanent cuts? Did we choose not to? I don't get, I don't understand what you're getting at. We look at the $1.2 billion that we had to solve in the current biennium. And, and we tried to make as much progress as we could in the tails. How about on education? Um, this seems to say that the 12 and 13, not seem, it does say that the 12 and 13 education money will not be paid back for 12 and 13. So it's now moved out for two more years. And in the paper I read that the governor is recommending making those, his so-called unallotments, making those permanent. So does that mean there is no intent ever to pay that money back? Because that's what that sounds like. And I'm just trying to ascertain sure. which way the governor wants it. Is he permanently cutting education? Or is he just delaying payments for another two or three years? Um, Mr. Chairman, we are shifting the, um, the $1.2 billion um, from the 12 and 13 biennium um, out to the next biennium. So I guess that would call, they still get all the money. I guess it would meet your definition of delay. Um, it's, it's shifting beyond that biennium. And when, Commissioner, when would they get that money under this, under the governor's proposal, when would they, and we're talking about just the 1.2 because the 600 million is already gone. Well, that the property tax recognition shift is gone. There's no intent to pay that back. So you're saying that in 14, in 2014, the intent would be to, under the governor's proposal, the intent would be to pay back the 1.2 billion in 2014? Right, in our proposal, Mr. Chairman, we um, go back to legislatively enacting the shift, which would um, also include the property tax recognition shift. It shifts them, they, they, the school districts are made whole as far as how they receive it, it just the timing of the payments. And then as far as when, it, when the shift is actually bought back, um, that's in the, um, in the um, statute. You know, when we have a surplus, the first thing we buy back is the shift. I wanna know, is it gonna show up on the budget sheet in 14, 15, or is it not? If you're a school district, you are not getting cut. You weren't cut on, on allotments, and you're not being cut now. Three eighty seven, as I understand it, is not part of the president's original stimulus plan, but it's monies of a similar sort. So is there any disagreement with that? Part of the president's um, budget. Okay. Proposal. So I just want to make sure I understand that the, that the governor, who has been critical of the president and the president's stimulus efforts back to the states, still wants to make sure he takes advantage of it at this opportunity. 
Is there any disagreement with that? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, Senator Cohen, the, uh, I think that it's a legitimate public debate at the national level how much they spend. From a, the perspective of assembling our um, supplemental budget, the, um, whether or not this money shows up, and we believe it is, is a legitimate um, decision to put into our budget.